Hi friends, welcome to Total Shift Yoga and Sound Bath. Today we're going to be doing a grounding vinyasa flow. We're going to be working with the part of the body that connects directly with the earth, our feet and a low body. So you don't need anything for class today, just hop on your mat and I'll meet you there. We'll start today's class in child's pose, so bring the big toes together to touch. Spread the knees wide, sink the hips back, and then melt the belly and the chest down towards the earth. Crawl the fingertips forward, maybe even tent up onto your fingertips. Crawl them one inch further, and then relax the wrists and the forearms and the elbows. Just allow this to be more of a passive child's pose, really feeling the weight of your body here connecting with the earth. Today's class is really about familiarizing ourselves again, kind of getting reacquainted with the places of our body that touch the earth, remembering what that support feels like. So as we just breathe here in child's pose, just become acutely aware of all of the spaces where your body touches the earth. See if you can find some softness in all of those spaces. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Deep breath in through the nose, nice and slow and full. Open mouth, sigh. Maybe letting yourself be a little bit heavier. Begin to press your palms into the earth. Start to lift yourself up into a tabletop pose. Coming onto all fours. Good. Situating your wrists right underneath the shoulders. Fingertips are spread nice and wide and finding a nice grip into the mat with all 10 pads of the fingers. Just start to find little circles with the body counterclockwise at first. So forward, right, and then left, back, right, forward, left, back. Going at your own pace, whatever feels right to you, just kind of exploring what this feels like in the wrists. And then when you're ready, slow down and go the opposite direction. Good. And remember that the point of this practice is to calm the mind, to still the mind. So when you notice that your mind is starting to race, see if you can come back to the breath, the sensations of your body as we move through these postures and these shapes. Good. And then come back to stillness and bring your knees together to touch, big toes touch. Flip your toes underneath, all 10 toes, and then start to walk your hands back towards your knees, sit on your heels, and stack your shoulders on top of your hips. Good. This is called toe stand. In some styles, it's called toe breaker pose. This can be really intense, but know that this is safe, so stick with it if you can. Bring your left arm up, so you make a 90 degree angle with the upper arm, the forearm. Good. And then with the right hand on the outside of the elbow, just gently guide this arm over to the right side. Get a nice little compound stretch here. Concentrating on Letting the shoulder drop away from the ear. Good. Release this side and move to the other side. So right arm up, 90 degree angle. Left hands to the outside of the right elbow. Just gently guide it over to the other side. Drawing the shoulder away from the ear. Breathing through the discomfort in the feet. If you're feeling that, sometimes this can feel like a lot of sensation in the toes the ankles, know that this is temporary, we're almost done. Release the side hands to your lap. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, back and down. Good, and then bring your hands back down to the ground, sweet release, and then pitter-patter the toes on the mat. 
Really good. Just get rid of some of that energy, that stagnant energy. Really good. Knees come back to hip width distance. And on an inhale, find cow pose. Drop your belly. Pull the heart forward. Gaze comes up. Tailbone up. Exhale, cat pose around the spine, gaze to the navel, really push the mat away. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. From here, come back to your neutral spine, inhale, and then start to kick the left heel up towards the sky. So we're thinking about creating another 90 degree angle, but this time with the leg. And then reach your right arm forward. And then reach all the way back. Grab the inside of your left ankle and kick the foot into your hand. Gaze comes forward, heart forward. Really good. Don't forget to breathe. Release that side. Let it go. Good. Find your equal space one more time. That solid ground. We move to the other side. Start to kick the right heel up towards the sky, another 90 degree angle, or this is what we think about. And then left arm reaches forward, and then swing it back as we reach for the inside of the right ankle. Kicking the right foot into the left hand, gaze comes forward, chest forward. And then exhale, everything releases. Beautiful. Tuck your toes underneath, take a deep inhale, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Good. Maybe come high onto the tiptoes, maybe bend your knees one at a time, pedaling out your feet. Good. Finding your neutral downward facing dog, fingertips spread wide, wrapping the triceps in towards the midline of the body. Maybe bend the knees slightly so you can pull your rib cage towards your thighs. On an inhale, come high onto your tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, straighten the legs. And then exhale, melt the heels to the mat. Let's do that again. Inhale, tiptoe. Exhale, bend knees. Inhale, straighten the legs. And then exhale, melt the heels. On your next inhale, start to walk your hands back to meet your feet for ragdoll pose. Once your hands meet your feet, bend the knees generously. Let the tension in the neck just go. Grab for opposite elbows and let your help, yourself just hang heavily here. Maybe rocking from side to side. Maybe complete stillness is what you need. Maybe an even deeper bend in the knees is what you're craving. Go ahead and give in to what you're craving. But whatever you're doing, wherever you are, see if you can become even more aware of the bottoms of your feet. See if you can soften in this space. So you're pulling up energy from the earth through your feet, all the way to your hips. We'll start today's class in child's pose. So bring the big toes together to touch, spread the knees wide, sink the hips back, and then melt the belly and the chest down towards the earth. Crawl the fingertips forward, maybe even tent up onto your fingertips. Crawl them one inch further. And then relax the wrists and the forearms and the elbows. Just allow this to be more of a passive child's pose. Really feeling the weight of your body here, connecting with the earth. Today's class is really about familiarizing ourselves again Kind of getting reacquainted with the places of our body that touch the earth and remembering what that support feels like. So as we just breathe here, 
and child's pose, just become acutely aware of all of the spaces where your body touches the earth. See if you can find some softness in all of those spaces. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good, deep breath in through the nose, nice and slow and full. Open mouth, sigh. Maybe letting yourself be a little bit heavier. Begin to press your palms into the earth. Start to lift yourself up into a tabletop pose. Coming onto all fours. Good. Situating your wrists right underneath the shoulders. Fingertips are spread nice and wide and finding a nice grip into the mat with all 10 pads of the fingers. Just start to find little circles with the body counterclockwise at first. So forward, right, and then left, back, right, forward, left, back. Going at your own pace, whatever feels right to you, just kind of exploring what this feels like in the wrists. And then when you're ready, slow down and go the opposite direction. Good. And remember that the point of this practice is to calm the mind, to still the mind, so when you notice that your mind is starting to race, see if you can come back to the breath. The sensations of your body as we move through these postures and these shapes. Good. And then come back to stillness. And bring your knees together to touch. Big toes touch. Flip your toes underneath. All ten toes. And then start to walk your hands back towards your knees, sit on your heels, and stack your shoulders on top of your hips. Good. This is called toe stand. In some styles, it's called toe breaker pose. This can be really intense, but know that this is safe, so stick with it if you can. Bring your left arm up, so you make a 90 degree angle with the upper arm, the forearm. Good. And then with the right hand on the outside of the elbow, just gently guide this arm over to the right side. Get a nice little compound stretch here. Concentrating on letting the shoulder drop away from the ear. Good. Release this side and move to the other side. So right arm up, 90 degree angle left hands to the outside of the right elbow just gently guide it over to the other side drawing the shoulder away from the ear breathing through the discomfort in the feet if you're feeling that sometimes this can feel like a lot of sensation in the toes and the ankles know that this is temporary we're almost done release the side hands to your lap inhale shrug your shoulders up towards your ears exhale back and down Good, and then bring your hands back down to the ground, sweet release, and then pitter-patter the toes on the mat. Really good, just get rid of some of that energy, that stagnant energy, really good. Knees come back to hip width distance, and on an inhale, find cow pose, drop your belly, pull the heart forward, gaze comes up, tailbone up. Exhale, cat pose, around the spine, gaze to the navel, really push the mat away. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. From here, come back to your neutral spine, inhale, and then start to kick the left heel up towards the sky. So we're thinking about creating another 90 degree angle, but this time with the leg. And then reach your right arm forward. And then reach all the way back. Grab the inside of your left ankle and kick the foot into your hand. Gaze comes forward, heart forward. Really good. Don't forget to breathe. Release that side. Let it go. Good. Find your equal space one more time. That solid ground. We move to the other side. Start to kick the right heel up towards the sky, another 90 degree angle, or this is what we think about. 
and then left arm reaches forward, and then swing it back as we reach for the inside of the right ankle. Kicking the right foot into the left hand, gaze comes forward, chest forward. And then exhale, everything releases. Beautiful. Tuck your toes underneath, take a deep inhale, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Good. Maybe come high onto the tiptoes. Maybe bend your knees one at a time, pedaling out your feet. Good. Finding your neutral downward facing dog. Fingertips spread wide, wrapping the triceps in towards the midline of the body. Maybe bend the knees slightly so you can pull your rib cage towards your thighs. On an inhale, come high onto your tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, straighten the legs. And then exhale, melt the heels to the mat. Let's do that again. Inhale, tiptoe. Exhale, bend knees. Inhale, straighten the legs. And then exhale, melt the heels. On your next inhale, start to walk your hands back to meet your feet for ragdoll pose. Once your hands meet your feet, bend the knees generously. Let the tension in the neck just go. Grab for opposite elbows and let your helps, yourself just hang heavily here. Maybe rocking from side to side. Maybe complete stillness is what you need. Maybe an even deeper bend in the knees is what you're craving. Go ahead and give in to what you're craving. But whatever you're doing, wherever you are, see if you can become even more aware of the bottoms of your feet. See if you can soften in this space. So you're pulling up energy from the earth through your feet, all the way to your hips. Go ahead and let go of the clasp of the elbows. And keeping the bend in the knees, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Take your time. Let your head and neck be heavy. And once you reach the top, roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And just take a moment here, maybe close the eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Full breath out, let it go. Maybe use this moment to set your intention for class today. And it doesn't have to be anything complicated. Maybe it's something as simple as the breath. Maybe it's a thought or a phrase. Maybe it's someone in your life who needs a little extra love. Maybe that person is you. Whatever that is, just take it in. Deep inhale. Full exhale, let it go. Good. And when you're ready, just float the eyes open. Let the feet be hip width, maybe even a little bit more. And um, let's lift the arms so that they're parallel with the earth. Palms facing down, zip up the fingertips. So we have really active arms here. Good, and take a deep inhale. Exhale through the nose. On your next inhale, lift through the feet onto your tiptoes. Thinking about pressing the tops of the feet forward. Yeah, we might come down. We might lose our balance and that's okay. That's what it's all about. And then exhale, come back down. Just gonna do that two more times. Inhale, lift, nice and slow and controlled. And then exhale, slowly come down. Becoming acutely aware of the bottoms of the feet. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, down. Good. Now we're going to add a little bit to this. So this time, inhale, lift onto your tiptoes. 
And then exhale, start to bend the knees. Everything in your body stays exactly the same. The only thing that's happening is that the knees are bending forward, pressing the shins, the tops of the ankles forward. The shoulders are still stacked on top of the hips. Good. Inhale back up and then exhale, release. Really nice job. Okay, release the hands, maybe shake out that stagnant energy. Remember to come back to the breath. Sometimes um, when we do something difficult, especially with balance, I find that we forget to breathe. So be aware of that, okay? So from here, inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, baby back bend, cactus the arms, lift the chest. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, find length in the spine. Belly button is in. And then exhale, crouch and curl, come high onto the tiptoes, bend the knees, sink the hips, melt the forehead down to the knees. And let this feel really good, breathing into the low back, feeling the broadening in that space, pressing the tops of the feet forward. Good, inhale, stamp your heels into the ground, lift all the way up into Tadasana, mountain pose. And then exhale, baby back bend, cactus the arms, lift the chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then this time, exhale, walk out into a plank pose. Good. So the shoulders are on top of the wrists. The heels are on top of the toes. The belly button is in. The tailbone is pulling down towards your heels. Lower your knees down to the ground. And then exhale, lower all the way down, keeping the elbows close into the body. Good. Okay. From here, inhale, baby cobra, lifting the chest, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, pulling the elbows towards one another behind you, little to no weight in the palms. And then exhale, release. Inhale as you press into your palms, come through tabletop, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really nice. From here, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, gently step through in between the palms. Good, stay high on the ball of the back foot. Inhale, crescent pose, arms reach up and overhead. Maintaining the deep bend in the front knee, which is over the front ankle. If it's further forward, widen the stance just a little bit, okay? Good, and it's nice to think about our feet on railroad tracks here rather than a tightrope. That'll help with your balance here. Good, deep inhale. And then exhale, swing the right arm back, left arm forward, find a little twist here. If you want to add a little challenge to this little balance challenge, see if you can lift up onto the right toes, ball toe mound, lift the right heel. Really good, some shaking is happening. Good, inhale, crescent pose. And then exhale, warrior two, spin the left heel down. Open up the arms. Gaze is over the right fingertips. This is your drishti, your focal point. Close your eyes and think to yourself, I am strong, I am a warrior. Flip your front palm, inhale, reverse warrior, reaching first up and then back. And then exhale, spin your palms down, step your front foot back, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. You know that you can always choose to either keep the knees lifted or lowered to the mat in your chaturanga. Good, other side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, step through between the palms. Inhale, crescent pose, adjusting the stance if needed, if desired. And on your next 
exhale, swing the left arm back, right arm forward, sending your gaze over your back thumb. And if you did it on the other side, maybe play with lifting the front heel. Ooh, this side is a little wobbly for me. So inhale, crescent pose. And then exhale, warrior two. Spin the back heel down. Open the chest out to the side. Maintain the bend in the front knee. Close your eyes, deep breath in. Full controlled breath out. Good, inhale, reverse warrior, reaching up and then back, maintaining the deep bend in the front knee. And then exhale, spin the palms down, step back, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward towards your palms, and then exhale, bring the feet up to meet the hands in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Tadasana, reach the arms up and overhead, and then exhale, hands at heart center, Samastitihi, come back to the breath. Refocus the mind. And then release the hands to your hips. Let the eyes flutter open. And come into a little bit of balancing here. So bend into the knees. Let the hips sink back just a little bit. We want to see if we can keep the shoulders on top of the hips here. And when you're ready, lift the right leg and cross the right thigh over the left. Okay? And maybe we see if we can find the double wrap here. So wrapping the toes around the left shin. But if that's not happening, totally fine. In fact, the lower you sit, the easier it will be to balance. You can maybe even use your right toes as a little kickstand on the ground. Okay, Garudasana, eagle legs. I like to think about the legs as being this sort of like um, wringing out a dish rag. So we want to think about pulling in opposite ways against each other, yeah? When we release, we find all of this new, fresh circulation flowing through the body. Good. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, back to both feet. Really good. Let's go to the other side. So bend into the knees. Lift the left thigh, cross it over the right side. Good. Maintaining the deep bend, maybe you find the double wrap. Thinking about keeping the knees in line with the belly button, so through the center line of the body. Good. You might wibble wobble, that's okay. Finding out that ringing out sensation. Good, inhale, lift, and exhale, release. Good, so that's half of our, our eagle pose. Let's add the other half. So from here, bring your arms into two 90 degree angles. We've kind of been here already at the beginning of class. But let's lift the left arm a little higher and drop the right arm a little lower. Start to move both of the arms, the forearms to the center line of the body. They'll cross over, left arm on top of right. And then the elbows will just hook into one another. And then start to move the hands closer to one another. And maybe you grab the left thumb, maybe the palm meet in front of your face. And if none of this is happening, it's totally fine. A bear hug is totally fine. That works too. Think about dropping the elbows, pulling the forearms away from your face. Good. And then sit deeply down into your chair. Bend into your knees. Lift the right thigh. Cross it over the left. Garudasana, eagle pose. We want to think about knees, belly button, elbows, wrists in the same line. Gazing over your 
fingertips, your drishti, and breathing nice and full. Inhale, let it all go, totally unravel, lift the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, baby back bend, let this feel really good, lift the chest. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, hands to heart center. Hands down by your side. Okay, other side. So this time, arms into your forklifts, your 290 degrees. And then this time, right arm higher, left arm a little lower. Start to move them towards one another. Hook the elbows into place. And then start to move the hands towards one another. Maybe reaching for the right thumb. Maybe you bring your palms together. Maybe you find your bear hug. Whatever works for you is totally fine. Sit deeply down into your chair. Bend the knees. Sink the hips. Keeping that deep bend, lift the left thigh, cross it over the right side. Remember, the lower you sit, the easier it is to balance. And that ringing sensation you found in the legs, you can do the same in the arms here. Keep the gaze soft, relax the muscles of the face and breathe. Good, inhale, release, everything releases, arms lift up. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, Tadasana, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find length. And then exhale, crouch and curl, high onto the tiptoes, melt the hips to your heels. Forehead to knees, tiny ball. Good. From here, just lift the gaze. We're gonna play a little bit, okay? So know that this is for fun, okay? Don't beat yourself up. <laughs> it's not working today. It might not work for me either. So start to lift your upper body so that the shoulders are on top of the hips. Bring your hands to your knees, gently push them away. So you're sitting onto your toes. It's the only part of your body that's on the earth. I know, already a challenge. Um, as if this wasn't enough, we're gonna add a little bit more. So bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee and start to reach the left arm back. Oop, and have fun. Maybe even smile. Ooh, and look back. Okay, back to center. Only one more side. Left hand outside of the right knee. Reach the right arm back. Gaze over the right thumb. Wibble wobbles mean that you're human, so it's good, let it happen. And then back to center. Hands come down to the ground. Let the bum come down to the ground. You made it. Really good. Okay, great. So we've made it down to the ground. I will not make you get back up, so that's the good news. Let's reach the left leg out towards the front left corner of your mat, and then open the right knee out. So the sole of the foot comes in towards the thigh. Setting up for Janu Shirshasana. Good. So flex the left toes back towards your face, as you reach the sits bones down into the earth, lift the chest tall, crown of the head pulls towards the sky. There's these two opposing uh, directions in the spine. Reach the arms up and overhead to extend that line. And then as you exhale, fold forward, take this nice and slow, reaching for whatever you can. Maybe that's your shin, your ankle, the foot. We want to think about extending through the spine the whole time. So we're not just collapsing into this shape, but we're really maintaining an active posture here. You can think about pulling the quad up and in, flexing the toes back. Good. And squaring your shoulders in the direction of your left toe. 
Inhale as you start to walk yourself back up to center. And then pick up your right foot with your hands and cross the ankle over the left thigh. Take your left fingers and start to kind of hold hands with your toes. There's like no better way to put it really. So you're kind of putting your fingers in between each of your toes, really spreading the toes out wide. This might be a little uncomfortable. That's okay, just let it happen. Really finding webbing to webbing between the toes and the fingers. Good, and then give a good squeeze to the ball toe mound of your foot, kind of like a little massage. And start to roll the ankle in one direction. Let this feel good. And then slow down and go the other way. Might feel some cracks, you might feel things moving around. That's okay, that's good. Good, let this go. And then reach the right leg out. Pull the left leg in. Setting up for Janu Shirshasana on the other side. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Flex the left, excuse me, the right toes. And square your chest so that it's in line with those toes. One more inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge forward from the waist, grabbing for whatever you can. Maybe that's the toes, maybe the shin, the calf, the ankle. On an inhale, lift the chest. On an exhale, see if you can sink a little bit further. Staying active here, flexing the toes, pulling the quad up and in. Inhale as you pull yourself back to center. Grab your left foot and cross the ankle over the right thigh. Hold hands with your toes. So interlace your fingers in and around your toes. Kind of like you're getting a pedicure. All right, squeeze the ball to a mound nice and tight and start to make little circles with the foot. Take it nice and easy. It's kind of like a self-massage. Slow down and go the other way. Just giving our feet and ankles a little bit of love. Remembering that our toes can take up space. Good. Release the hand from the clasp. Let the legs fall along. And come all the way down to your back. Bend at the knees and Bring the heels underneath the knees. Okay, so the feet are on the ground, hip width distance apart. Good. Find your kind of robot arms here. So the palms face one another. Press the shoulders and the elbows down into the ground. Maybe even press into the elbows for a moment and lift the shoulder blades and walk them underneath the body and then come back down. Really good. And then from here, let the pinkies come down to the ground. Yeah, okay. Deep inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips up towards the sky for bridge pose, pressing into the pinky edge of the fingers, the triceps, the tips of the shoulders, the back of the head, leaving space for the neck. Good, squeezing the thighs in towards one another Engaging the glutes here, the hamstrings. See if you can press into the heels to lift a little bit taller. And then exhale, release. Good. Hug your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Give yourself a little hug here. Good. Allow the arms to fall out to a T shape. And on your next exhale, let the knees fall over to the left side. Reclined twist. Send the gaze over the right fingertips. Let the right shoulder fall heavily down towards the earth. Keep the breath nice and full. In and out through the nose. Really focusing on the expansion of the breath, particularly in the right side, the right lung. And then inhale the knees back to center. And exhale, let them fall over to the right side. Nice and easy breath. 
heavy left shoulder, gazing over the left fingertips if it feels okay on the neck. Just maybe even closing the eyes, feeling the heart rate start to drop down just a little bit. Inhale the knees back to center. Wrap your arms around your shins one last time and curling yourself into a tiny little ball. Good. Just appreciating the way that it feels here to breathe and feel the belly press into the thighs. And see if you can soften the spaces where your body touches the earth. Inhale as you pull the forehead up to meet the knees. And then exhale, release into your Shavasana, allowing the legs to fall out long. Arms down by your sides, taking up as little or as much space as you want or need. Taking the time here to get really comfortable. Becoming even more aware of this support that's underneath you. The places where your body touches the mat, the earth underneath, always providing support and comfort, stability whenever you need it. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Come back to your natural, uncontrolled breath. And just rest here, Shavasana.
take your time as you start to wake up the body and wiggle your fingers and your toes. And just invite small movements and deeper breaths back in. And I hope that you can take this sense of comfort, this sense of feeling the earth beneath you and the energy and support that comes from the earth and those around you. Take that with you into the rest of your day. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time.